Please like this video if it's helpful, comment below with any questions, and subscribe to the channel for more how-tos like this. Okay, so y'all just saw that video of the failure for this thermal release valve. I wanna pull this off, show you the numbers on the existing valve, and then show you the replacement that we got from Pittsburgh Spray. All right, so first of all, let's look at what's going on with this thermal release valve. You can see there's uh, corrosion, the threading has disappeared, basically, and there's missing parts inside of here. Let me show you the new one. So this is the new one from Pittsburgh Spray. You can see all the parts inside that have fallen out of the existing release valve. Here's everything broken and pulled out. So this one's been beat up, but I'm trying to focus in. The numbers there on top are GY1945 and then 19140. So the replacement is GY2110 and the bottom number is the same, 19140. Okay, we are running water through the system now, blowing through, no leaks. So let's start up the engine and see what happens. Okay, so there you have it. This is the part needed for a thermal relief valve replacement on a CAT pump, and it was attached to a Honda GX390.